Hey, good evening. How are you guys? I am aha, con todo, huh? Ay, Berto, no me di cuenta que estaba encendido. But dancing, dancing, dancing in the house. Okay, it's good. Todavía falta. Vamos a media semana. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem. Okay, guys. So, it's good. It's good that you are back. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's difficult because right now it's raining in many parts. So maybe it's a little difficult for your internet. Okay? But the important is we are here together. The first thing we're going to start with is we're going to start with discussing with our partners a little bit about our day. Remember, we want to practice and have it be naturally. Okay? So with our partners, we're going to talk about, hey, how was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? Okay. So only a few minutes, only a few moments to practice the normal conversations, to practice our normal conversations. Okay. Aida, hi. How are you today? Aida, can you hear me? No, it's difficult to hear. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I, can, I can hear you. How are you? Sure. Are you okay? No, you have problems? Okay, we'll see.
Okay. Right. Any questions? Any word that you say? Ah, how do you it's say? Right now in my city, so I it's okay, Oscar. I understand. It's it's raining. It's here. It's raining. Yes. Yes. yes it's strong. raining. Very so I, I understand for some of you, maybe it's difficult. Maybe it's difficult to listen. And, or, maybe, or maybe the internet is bad because it's raining. So you have to be careful, all right? We're going to try to listen. We're going to listen to a video, okay? We're gonna listen and watch a video. Okay. Let's see if, we, if it works, okay? section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. So we can see we are using the words like so, to, and either. So, to, neither, and either. Okay. We were what? What is the meaning of neither and either? Yes. So in the conversation, we can see we use them. Okay. So it says, I'm not either. So it's the same me. So I do not like pupusas. Ah, me either. Is the same, I do not like pupusas, right? Or maybe Emma Emma says, I do not like sushi. Uh, I do not like sushi. So the two is not necessary to repeat the sentence. It's only, ah, uh, me either. Okay, so we can see in the conversation to make it easier. We can see how they use it. I'm not in the mood for it today. So I'm not. Look, with either, we need to use a negative. I'm not either. But maybe you like Japanese food. Ah, right? And I like Japanese food. So if the two like Japanese food is uh, two, I do too. So neither is the two. The answer is for negative, right? So either is negative. The two is the answer is positive. So one more time. If you say so is the same, me and you. I like pizza. So do I. Is I like pizza. Okay. I put in the chat to help us a little bit. Okay. For those that have problems for the rain. Okay. So when we use so, okay. So, for example, so do I. This means I like. So I say, hey, Alejandro, do you like uh, Marvel movies? You like yes. Yes. Ah, I like Marvel movies, but I don't need the sentence. Only I say, so do I, or me too. I did me too. Mm -hmm. I can say, so do I, and Alejandro understands, I like Marvel movies. I can say, me too, and Alejandro understands, I like Marvel movies. It's not necessary, repeat the sentence. Hey, Edwin, did you, today, did you take a shower? Me too, the, I. Did, did you take a shower today, Edwin? Yes. Yes, ah, me too. Uh, 
It's not necessary. Ah, I took a shower today. Oh, no, only me too is the same. Is the answer the short answer? Is the short answer. Okay. Yes, Emma. Teacher, I have a question. Ah. Emma, Emma, do you have you, a question? Emma. Or Eneida? Eneida. Okay. Emma, um, Emma, no hay problem. Okay. okay. El so, y lo puedo usar así como, es parecido como a like. Así como, lo he escuchado bastante, digamos, está en una oración y dice so y tal cosa, o like, tal cosa. No. ¿Es parecido o no es igual? No, nada que ver. Son modal verbs. Entonces cambia de, de acuerdo al contexto. Okay. The teacher, do you yes. ask, uh, did you take a shower? And yes. he said, yes. Is it correct, is correct to say, so the I? It's correct. So the I? So did I. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Nada, question? Okay, teacher. My question is, um, the, um, you um, answer is uh, so do I or me too is a request no no request it's only no. it's only that I I the same activity you so I mm -hmm. like the same activity I do the same activity mm -hmm. is the same for you okay okay and Neda can you drive a car uh, so can I no 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 can you no. drive a car uh, no, I can't. Uh, me neither. Me uh -huh. neither. Uh, okay. So, and, and Neda cannot drive a car, and mm -hmm. I cannot drive a car. Uh -huh. That's me okay. neither. I understand, teacher. Thank you very much for your You're welcome. Teacher, podría ser ahí como neither do I. Correct. But not do. Neither can I. Because the the oxygen Teacher. is for uh -huh. the question. So it's the for the pants. Okay. If the question is can teacher the auxiliary which, is can. Which, which one is the different the difference between uh, neither and either? Is the same. The same for so for two and so only if you, the structure is different, but the meaning is the same. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Um, puede volver a repetir lo que dijo que no no escuché por tantas voces. Okay. No problem. So, Eneida cannot drive a car. I cannot drive a car. But it's not necessary to repeat the sentence. It's only I say I can't either. Or, Eneida says, I cannot drive a car. And I say, neither. Can I? Emma, look in the chat to help you. Okay. So, if it's positive, if the answer is yes, you have two options, the so or the two. If the answer is negative, you have two options. Either or neither. Thank you. You're welcome. Emma, can you, can you cook lasagna? Yes. Okay, me too. So, if only is for the same, is not correct, for example, as an example, Emma, can you cook lasagna? No. Ah, then for no is not possible, me too. No, if Emma says no and is no for me, I have to say, ah, neither can I or either. It's okay? Yes. Any questions? No more questions. No more questions. Hey, okay, good. All right. So in this moment, what are we going to do? In this moment with our partners, we are going to practice the conversation, okay? If you do not have the computer, it's okay. The conversation is in WhatsApp. Okay, so 
if you do not have the computer, you can check WhatsApp and in there to find the conversation. You're going to practice with your partner. One time, Jeff, and then one time, Bob, and then change. One time, Bob, and one time, Jeff. It's okay, the idea? Or? Okay. Yes, okay. okay. That's okay. okay. Okay, perfect. So let's make our partners and we practice with our partners. Let's, let me just give the options. Okay. Aida, do you have problems joining? Teacher, creo que mi compañero. Is Aida? Compañero no estaba. Right. Practice with Aida because Aida has problems joining. Aida, only practice here. Aida, me escucha. Okay, Emma, maybe she has problems. All right, Emma, you and me practice. Okay, okay. You, you are Jeff, I am Bob. Okay. Um, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Well, um, what do you think of India food? Oh, I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a big spacey. Oh. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I, I have always, always waiting to go there. Okay, terrific, let's go. May I practice? Uh, yes, we are waiting for you, but you, are, you don't speak. <laughs> okay, I'm um, Jeff, no. You first. Okay. And second. Hey, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Well, I want to do what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it is a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's a calling Aroha? Oh, I've always want to go there. Terrific, let's go. Okay. Now, Teacher, so now you first. Yes, yes, Emma. El nader y el aider es igual o uno de los dos se usa para positivo o negativo? The two for negative. Remember, so and two is positive. Neither and either is for the negative. Pero puedo ocupar cualquiera, ¿verdad? De los dos. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Emma, can you fly a plane? Yes. The plane? Plane, no sé qué es plane. <laughs> Avianca. El... Mm -hmm. Now you start. Can you? No, no, you finished already, Aida. Uh -huh. Can you fly? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So then. If I can fly, then so can I. 
or me too. If you say no, then I can say me neither or neither can I. Okay. It's okay, Emma? Yes, teacher. Okay. Great. Okay. So now that we have the idea, there's one word that is maybe difficult for you to understand. One moment, Edwin. And that word is spicy. Repeat the pronunciation, spicy. 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 Uh -huh. Spicy is like Mexican, like jalapenos. This is ah, ah, spicy. Pepper. Like pepper, correct, correct. Spicy. Spicy. Spicy, yes. Hey, where's, ah, Edwin, you have a question? Uh, this this is the what is bueno, esa era la pregunta sobre esa, sobre esa ah, okay. I, I imagine because I hear the pronunciation many groups and, and uh, the people say the word spicy okay this is like the jalapenos and I have another question teacher okay uh, what is the meaning of turkey of the turkey T double R I F I N C. Put in the chat. T double R I. Terrific. Creo que es la palabra que. Because I don't know word uh, T E. T E double R. Yes. T E. Uh huh. No problem. No problem. That's why we put the chat. Good. The pronunciation is everybody terrific. 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 Good. And this and means. Then. This means very good. This means similar, excellent. Ah, it's terrific. It's excellent. Or oh, saying fantastic. Like fantastic, exactly. Like fantastic, terrific. Okay. Good. Now we're going to continue with some information about- Teacher. Yes. Pero te repeat and no sé, se escucha así como también ter terrorífico, terrible. No significa no. nada de eso. No, Reina, nothing. Okay. No. For this is okay. the word terrible. Not terrific, terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now we are going to see a little video for more explanation of so to, neither, and either. Remember, so and for positive. Neither and either for negative. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, Neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of two. Okay. I'll explain because I like to explain better than her. Okay. So here, if you if it's small for you, it's in the WhatsApp. Okay. So if you want to see bigger, it's in the WhatsApp, uh, the picture. When you have agreement for positive or agreement for negative, you have two ways. If it's positive, is so or two. If it's negative, we have neither or either. If your opinion is different, 
then you cannot use these words. You have to use a different word, okay? So if I say, I like Japanese food a lot, and you do not like Japanese food, is not correct, so do I, is not correct, I do too. The correct is, I don't like it very much. The correct is your opinion, okay? So let me explain this one to make sure it's clear. We have so and to is for when you agree with the person in positive. Okay, we use neither and either when you agree with the person in negative. It's okay or so so? So so, okay. It's I, okay. It's okay, Farida? For Emma? So yes. The others? It's okay or so so? Okay. So so. So so, okay. I'll explain quickly in Spanish then. Okay. Sí. Oh. Yes, Osman. Uh, for example, if you, I say I don't like uh, China food, mm -hmm. your answer. And I podría usted podría utilizar el neither or either. Exactly. 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 But if my opinion is different, then it's not correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's clean. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. Sure. And what is the change with the words? Neither is in the certain sentences and the last sentences use the either. The negative sentences use either, right? Or either, if is correct. If it's at the beginning is neither. If it's at the end is either. So in the beginning, okay. Uh -huh. In the beginning, you say, ah, neither do I, can I, neither. But if it's not in the beginning, is I can't, I don't, I'm not, either. It's okay, the idea or no? Yes? And when you neither but i like what is the the answer is that your opinion your your opinion is i don't so one example for example do you like pizza yes no okay. uh, me, me 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 too no 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 oh, yes yes i, I do like. yes i do yes i do okay so let's try one more time do you like pizza Yes, I do. Ah, I don't. And that's it? I don't. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. If, uh, if I'm no. agree, I say me too. If what? If I'm agree, I say me too, right? Correct. If you agree, then you say me too. Uh -huh. If you agree, you say me too. But if you don't agree, you don't say me too. Because me too, or so do I, only if you agree. Okay. okay. Is that okay, the, the, the idea? Yes. Yes. Only if it's the same agreement. Okay, so let's, yes. I have a question. Okay. What is the the synonym of agreement ah, is that the agreement is the same opinion oh, okay thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome so agreement for example i don't like i don't like reggaeton and you the same opinion is agreement neither do i A 
lot of noise. Okay, let's try. Okay, now let's watch more of the video to understand more how to use correctly. Here's more. short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end of chess. I can too. You see, depend the auxiliary. Depend the auxiliary in the sentence. The auxiliary, the verb to be. The answer, the verb to be. The auxiliary can. The answer can. If the sentence, no auxiliary. If the sentence, simple present. The auxiliary is do. Because in the question, do you like? Do you study? Do you work? So in the sentence, the same auxiliary. Do. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject, auxiliary, to. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following. Is that better? Does that help you understand more? Is clear? Um, yes, teacher. For uses in either is a negative sentence negative. Is All a, right. Neither is a sentence positive. That, oh no. Um, say, um, two a negative or two the, a positive. The two negatives. So two for negative. the two for the this you agree, but is negative. So as an example, if I do not, I do not like pizza and you agree the answer is uh, neither. neither do i what i don't either is that okay it's okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. good so what are we going to do? Well, we are going to practice with our partners in 3.4. In 3.4, you need to use the correct form, okay? You need to agree with the statements. So if positive, you put positive. If negative, you put negative, okay? So 3.4 with your partners.
I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Oscar, do you have any questions? Teacher, yo acabo de entrar de nuevo. It's okay, Oscar. They're going, the group is going to return. We are only practicing the... Practicing group, Uh-huh. They're practicing the so, the two, the neither, and either. But in one moment, they return. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Entonces tengo que ir a hacer todavía eso. No he hecho nada de eso desde ayer. Ayer tampoco pude entrar. Ah, ok. Ok, guys. Welcome back. Ok. I think it's a little bit easy to <laughs> practice, right? So, let me see. I want you to agree with me. Ok, I want you to agree with me. Lourdes, I can't drive a car. I... Me too? No, because my sentence no. is negative. My sentence is negative. I okay. can't drive a car. Either, I, either do I. Neither can I. Neither can I, because mm -hmm. my, my auxiliary is I can't. Okay. My auxiliary is can't. Okay, let's try another one. Emily. Emily, I, I do not like to cook. I do not like to cook. Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay. I do either. Can I say the answer, teacher? Okay. Neither do I. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither I do. I don't either. Correct. We have two answers. Neither do I or I don't either. I don't either. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's see another one. Maria, Maria Eugenia. Maria Eugenia. I am not happy. I am not happy. Yo me disculpo porque le escribí ahí porque me conecté tarde, recién me acabo ah, okay. de incorporar. Ok, María, no problem, no problem, no, no, no problem, no problem. René, René, I am not happy. I, I am too. Neither am I. Neither am I. No. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am I. I am. Oh, I'm not either. I am correct. not either. Yes, Rene, that is correct. And correct, ladies. I am not either or neither am I. Okay. Perfect. I am positive. Okay. The answer. Yes. Teacher, for yes. example, um, I podría ser me too, so yo tampoco soy feliz. No. No. 
the two is only for positive sentences. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, now let's watch a little bit more to help us with the pronunciation, okay? So here, well, first with our partners, we are going to do two things. We are going to do the knowledge check 3.4, right? We have the, I'm not crazy about French food. What do we put? Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am, am I. I. Okay. I'm not either. If you check, right, when we put, it's not correct. Why not? Look at it. Neither am I. Neither. What if I eliminate? Okay. The point, the point, Tisha. Okay, exactly. Okay. So, Okay, there's the point, you see? So you have to be careful because sometimes the answer is correct, already has the point. So it's not necessary the point here, okay? So you have to be careful when you see those, right? So with our partners, we're going to practice. We're gonna make sure we finish all of these. There are 10. We are going to complete the 10 with our partners, 3.4. And first, we're going to listen to the correct pronunciation of how to use the different forms. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay, so as you can see, we can use different auxiliaries. Depend the sentence we use, am, can, or do, right? Depend the structure. And that's it. So in this moment, with our partners, we want to make sure, okay? 3.4, guys ready? <coughs> so, no, Oscar, no, not ready? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> no, not ready, not ready. So let's go, teacher. Let's okay. Go. <laughs> it's okay. We not ready, but ah, but we try. Okay, we try with our partners. 3.4. Yes.
Okay. How do you guys feel? In positivos, puedo usar me to, I don't to, y I can't to. Depende del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, digamos, eh, ¿en qué momento puedo usar yo el I do too? Uh, when you have the verb in present. I cook, I eat, I play, I like, I want. ¿Y el me too? In the same. En cualquiera. Yep. For only me too, yes, because no auxiliary. Teacher. Yes, okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening. I, I, I don't, I don't create the, the idea between us. So to neither and either. Do you have a, what I can to say pizarra in English? A board. Board. Mm -hmm. Do you can to use a board for me? Uh, no, there's no board. But in the video, that's where we explain. I can put the video one more time. So that you can okay, see. okay, all right. Okay. So first, let's check before. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit here. Let's make sure that we get the correct answers. Okay, so here. Okay, how do we use? Maybe this helps you more. Um, okay, so here you see it's negative, not. So is not correct to. Or so is only correct, neither or either. Let me put better here. This is to help you better. Okay. If you see here, is negative sentence. So negative sentence only is possible, neither or either. How do I know is am? Because here is the auxiliary am. So is the same. Okay. Here, the auxiliary is can. So here only is possible the auxiliary can. You see? But this sentence, number two, the sentence is positive. So it's not correct neither and is not correct either. It's only correct. So can I, I can too. These are the only forms correct, the so or the two. Does that, does that help you? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. So if you see here, no auxiliary, the verb present. So no auxiliary, ah, I use do. Why do? Uh-huh, why do? Because in the question, if this is a question is do, do you think Mexican food is delicious? Ah, so if question is do, then the auxiliary is do the verb okay okay okay, okay. Teacher, and, yes for example in me too for um i have and i'm uh, angry so you think one more okay i am hungry mm -hmm. me hungry too for me too yes okay mm -hmm. uh, or también puedo usar i do no because you say you said i am hungry i am hungry is obligation same auxiliary so it's okay so am so am i is that okay no your sentence your sentence is i am hungry so the answer the auxiliary is am so the answer obligation has to have am. So am I only two? Mm -hmm. Is that okay, Emma? So, so. So, so. Okay, let me make sure. Let me explain it so because it's too much time. Bye. Ya mucho tiempo en inglés y todavía no. Lo usan de auxiliar, lo usan en la respuesta. No lo pueden cambiar. Yo o sea, no... mi, mi pregunta es, 
¿En qué momento yo puedo, des, puedo utilizar el auxiliar do? Cuando es el verbo en presente. ¿Cuándo? Ah, cuando yo, yo may pues, I help digamos, you? tengo hacer una pregunta. Do you like dancing, por ejemplo? No. No. Cuando es el verbo en presente. Dancing no está en presente. Teacher. Entonces, cuando vos decís eh, una oración, I like I, I like uh, to dance. I or cuando decís I dance, I cook, I play, I watch TV. Cualquier verbo en presente es cuando vas a usar do. Porque si fuera una pregunta, el auxiliar sería do. Teacher, may I help her? Yes, Aida. Tú vas a ocupar eso siempre y cuando no encuentres. I am o can. Si no ves ninguno de esos dos, puedes ocupar do. Gracias. ¿O quién? ¿Es ok? Mm, uh, but yo tengo como una duda entre el neither y el either. Ese es lo mismo cuando estás de acuerdo con una oración negativa. Yo no... Uh, por, por eso es que si, si es negativo, solo tienes dos opciones. Neither or either. Si es posible. Y no hay. Y, y, sí. y puede usar cualquiera. O sea, de las sí, dos. No cualquiera. hay ningún problema. Ajá. Neither or either. Puedes jugar, cuál es? ¿Puedes jugar fútbol. Yes. Ya, yeah, me too. Yo también. Igual yo. Ok. Es la diferencia. Ajá, ninguna. Exacto, <risa> ninguna. No te compliques. Le está buscando okay. cosas que no existen. Ajá. Sí, lo, lo, lo que pasa es que... Eh, ¿Te gusta en la escritura sí hay diferencia. No, si no, lo escribes no, no, al no, inicio no, no, es no, no either es. y si lo escribes al final es either. Es la Ajá. única diferencia. Eh. Escuchó. O sea, solo en la escritura. Tiene razón la compañera. Solo cuando lo escribís. O sea, si, o, o ah, okay. si, si vas a decir el... Por ejemplo, el neither vas a empezar la oración con ese neither do I. Si vas neither. A either, vas a hacer al final. I don't either. Ok, ok. Ahora sí. Ahora, Ahora sí. sí. Ok. okay. Y, el, eh, y el, eh, el so y el to. Es lo mismo. Son oraciones positivas. Exacto. Para poder para opciones okay. positivas. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Ok. Vaya. ¿Alguien más que no le quedó claro o que necesita otro ejemplo? Oscar. My problem is in, I don't in class. Eh, no estaba al principio en la clase. Y uh -huh. en el creo, creo que por eso lo quería repasar, porque sí estoy un poquito un poquito confundido, pero estoy más o menos entendiendo lo que están diciendo. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And any other questions? The commentary nada más. Eh, te va a depender de cómo yo esté platicando con la persona. Si le quiero decir también yo, voy a decir neither I, por ejemplo. Pero si digo yo también, voy a decir I either. Algo así. No exactamente. Depende, de depende la oración, si es positiva o negativa. No depende cuál quieres usar. Si la oración es algo que no puedes usar, no puedes hacer o no te sentís, tenés que usar el neither. Por eso está los... Neither o either. Puedes usar cualquiera de los dos, pero esos dos son para negativos. Entonces, yo no, estoy con, ajá, yo no estoy contento. Entonces, por ejemplo, I am not happy. Ah, el auxiliar es am. Entonces, yo tengo que responder con am. Neither am I. Am I. Am ah, yo I. no puedo. Yo no puedo conducir. I cannot. I can't drive. Ah, tengo que usar el mismo auxiliar. I can't either. I can't either. Exacto. No puedes cambiar el auxiliar. La, la creo que había confundido es que de dónde sacábamos el do. Y el do es para los verbos que son en presente. Porque los verbos, no, el, el único auxiliar que tienen ellos es el do. 
porque no es I drive to, sino que I do to. En Neida. Teacher, um, for example, if the sentence is in past. The same, auxiliary in past. past. The same yeah, past. Yeah. Did, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Teacher, when you use uh, me too. For positive, for positive sentences. I am in GP. Yes, for I example, am... Rene, do you like pupusa? Me too. Uh -huh. no. uh, I, you say yes? Yes. Yes, ah, me too. Yes, I... Rene, do you drive a car? Do you drive a car? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. me too. Okay. Positive sentences. Okay. Uh -huh. Si se fijan, el truco es que con me too no se complican pensando en el auxiliar, porque automáticamente a, ya está incluido. Es me it's, a, it's a question, teacher. No, 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 no question, only, only is, I, is the same for me. Information. The same. Teacher, cuando usamos so, I do, o so, do I. Exacto, lo mismo que acabamos de hacer con René, con el me too. So do I. So do I, so can I, or so am I. Edwin, do you like do you like pizza? Yes. Yes, Ken. Yes, I like. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Entonces, vos usaste do, yo tengo que usar do. So do I. You uh, we, we you do responde, at the beginning yes, I am. two at the last. Entonces, yo tengo que usar am. So am I. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a problem. In, in the in, in knowledge check number 3.4 3.4 in, in essence yeah okay 3.4 let's look yeah uh the exercise number four i can stay in crazy food uh-huh yeah. okay i can't stay stand crazy food sorry okay uh the auxiliary can either Neither. Yeah. Can, yeah, yeah. Neither can I or oh, I can't either. Or I can't either. But 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 uh, um uh, <laughs> wait 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 one minute. I wait, no problem. If 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 I put I can either. Mm -hmm. No, the platform. Yes, no, no, not the platform. You. No, platform. I can't. You. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos viendo la respuesta. Mira, vamos a verlo nuevamente. Not the platform. You. ¿Qué significa? Que aquí, number four. Aquí son las respuestas que acepta la plataforma. I can't either. Lo que significa que una de tres cosas. Le ah, ok, 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 ok. Le okay, pusiste va, una. Ah, ok. Va, entonces voy a esto, voy a esto. Ok. Entonces, okay. mi error es. Eh, ahí dice yo. What did stand? No, 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 me, no soporto, no aguanto. Uh -huh. Ok, la comida grasosa, ¿correcto? Okay, correcto. O sea, si yo digo I can either, but. Pero sin el. Uh, si solo pongo el can, nada más. Sin, la, sin lo negativo es diferente porque es positivo es not correct es diferente es como es como si yo te digo en español a mí me gusta pizza y me decís ah, a mí tampoco ajá <risa> no, no tiene nada que ver uno con el otro sí, no tiene sentido ok exacto ok, okay. hoy sí ya entendí ok ok good Ahora, se fijan, eh, esto, este, esta situación de hoy, viene de lo que no estamos haciendo caso, lo que dije el primer día. Vayan adelantando con los videos para la clase. Si se adelantaran con los videos, preguntas fueran más precisas y pudieran eh, comprenderlo más fácil. Siempre la gramática es difícil, pero sí, acuérdense que la idea de la plataforma no es 
enseñar la clase, sino que es repasar lo que no entendieron o no pudieron lograr hacer. Y en vez de estar usando nuestro tiempo para practicar hablar, lo usamos mucho en las estructuras gramaticales para comprender. Entonces, hacen el favor de ver los videos antes y en clase lo que no les quedó claro es más fácil, solo es un poquito de tiempo y podemos usar todo este tiempo para practicar hablarlo, que es lo que menos tiempo tenemos fuera de la clase. Se sí, intenten. Yo sé que todos tienen vidas difíciles, a veces se puede, a veces no, no hay problema, pero entre más pueden ir adelantando, se les va a hacer más fácil, porque después, por ejemplo, digamos que el fin de semana tenemos que hacer el examen total, entonces, ¿qué pasa si hay algunos videos de aquí? Yo le digo, ok, ese video lo van a tener que ver por ustedes mismos. Después ni explicación van a tener. Ok, entonces. ¿Qué jueves hay examen? El, no. el fin de semana. Es que el examen lo puede hacer desde ya. Por ejemplo, Aida creo que ya se adelantó ya le corre, y ya está en la unidad 4, ¿correcto, Aida? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. <risa> Es que por eso existe, el, el, la idea del curso en línea no es que esperen al docente, es que el docente solo esté para ayudarles a resolver las cosas que ustedes no pudieron lograr solos. Teacher, yes, but, but you um, tell about the midterm. Yes, uh -huh. y ahí está en el WhatsApp. Revisen el WhatsApp, hasta le mandaron mensajes de inglés corporativo que ya lo habían actualizado. Sí, ya lo hice también, así que sí, ya está actualizado, ya, ya lo pueden hacer. Ya. Uh -huh. Ya, ya. Entonces, créeme que se les, hace, se les hace más fácil si se van haciendo las tareas y van adelante y van bañando. No se tiene que ir un montón, pero con que tengan un poquito de idea y así, hey, Fíjese que yo vi el video y no me quedó claro esto y este punto. Ah, perfecto. Y lo tratamos al inicio. Es correcto. Así es como yo he venido aprendiendo y he sentido que me he orientado mejor adelantándome. Ya cuando lo uh -huh. estoy viendo a usted y oigo los videos, hasta ya lo he traducido y ya entiendo más. <risa> <risa> ¡Qué bien! Eso, ¡Qué eso bien! Me pegó todo. Ah, eso quiere decir la historia. Ya cuando hablan ya uno entiende más. Sí, y no les digo que, que no lo pueden hacer como lo están haciendo, solo que van a aprovechar más el tiempo si lo hacen de la otra forma. Es, es, es una forma más, más productiva y usar su tiempo mejor para que así tengan para poder practicar más. ¿Ok? Ok, okay guys. Have a good night. Practice. Go ahead. And then tomorrow we try. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.